guys welcome to london lips youtube channel welcome if you're new and welcome if you're not so welcome everybody especially you know we've got a lot of new subscribers as well welcome to the channel so guys today we're going to be talking about sean diddy combs his lawsuit and what he's been up to we're also going to be talking about this guy who is a porn star who claimed he is in the videos with diddy it's not actually stevie J. Diddy has been accused of unsolicited groping and sexual touching of Jones. Jones is a music producer. He was recruited by Diddy in 2022 to help him with the album, the love album, Off The Grid. There is an album that was nominated for a Grammy after it was released in September 2023. So Jones agreed to help him, but it absolutely allegedly destroyed his life. He has been impacted ever since. What did Diddy allegedly do to him? let's talk about this now as you know diddy's been accused of sexually assaulting many many people he's also been accused of being homosexual but diddy once again is in the limelight for some sort of sexual harassment am i surprised no there's just going to be case after case when it comes to diddy diddy is a slimy untrustworthy guy oh let's just say allegedly so let's talk about this so this guy endured more than one year of having constant unsolicited and unauthorised groping and touching of his anus at Diddy's home. He was touched in Diddy's homes allegedly in Florida, Los Angeles, New York. Diddy also allegedly rented a yacht in the US Virgin Islands. In this yacht, he introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr. Everyone knows him from the movies, the actor. And to know Cuba Gooding Jr. is allegedly involved in this, am I it seems to be like a almost like know how you get paedophile rings this is some sort of like sex perversion ring which seems to in have many many of the celebrities involved in it cuba was getting touchy feely on the yacht on this poor guy he allegedly was touching him groping him and fondling mr jones leg and his upper inner thigh near his groin the small back near his buttocks and his shoulders. Now, anybody who has ever come across somebody who is a bit of a sex pest can probably relate to this. This is a typical, you know, sex pest type of move to be over touching, rubbing on someone's leg, or maybe they stand next to you, they put their hand on your back, their hand will be going too low, making you feel absolutely uncomfortable. But sometimes you feel like you can't say something when you're in these type of situations. He probably felt uncomfortable but didn't know what to say. Does this sort of behaviour surprise me? No. There's a lot of men out there who actually think they can just overtouch people. So, like, you could sit next to the guy. Say he... Let's, let's, get, let's get some scenarios going. Let's get some scenarios going. Okay. So, you get in a car. You're on a driving lesson. As the man touches, you know, the gear stick, his hand then rubs onto your thigh. You feel uncomfortable, but some people may not say nothing. A guy talks to you that, you know, he puts his hand on your back. You're like, okay, cool. Then you feel the hand lowering, uncomfortable. You may not say something. So these sort of subtle touching, it can mean a lot, but it can be one of those things where people feel uncomfortable to say, what are you doing? Because they feel like they're sounding crazy. Now, I've seen the images of Cuba with his hand on this guy's leg and it looks very 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 dodgy to me especially for a man to be going to another man i mean a lot of guys don't even want to sit next to another guy on public transport if they can avoid it so for a guy to be touching up another guy's inner thigh is very very suspicious but combs is the one who introduced jones to cuba gooding jr and anybody you get introduced to by diddy is suspicious if diddy's introducing them to you you better be very very cautious there's very few people who allegedly seem to have been around diddy who have actually not had some sort of involvement in diddy's actions he seems to be a recruiter as well as an extreme predator Jones has brought up young Miami's name. Does this surprise me? No. She was hanging off his arm. She seems to be some sort of wing woman for Diddy. I'm not totally convinced yet that she is actually a victim. She may be a victim who's been forced to participate in this. But her name has came up. He claims her cousin, who is a female, also run a sexual assault on him. He was forced to watch a video of rapper 
um, recording producer Stevie J allegedly having sex with another man. Stevie J to me has always seemed like a bit of a shifty character. He's never really been a guy I absolutely can trust. I remember when Jocelyn accused Stevie J of sexually assaulting his daughter. Not the child he has with her, but the one he has with Mimi. Now, I don't know whether that was true or not, but it seems like a very strange thing for a woman to be saying about you. Now, of all the allegations I hear about Diddy are true, Diddy seems to be the type of guy that he wants everybody to see him naked. It seems like everybody in the industry has seen everything Diddy has to offer. Everybody sees this man naked. I've heard he had meetings naked in his bath. You know, he obviously gets some sort of thrill of people seeing his naked body, whether he's running an assault on them or not. So, Jones was allegedly required to watch Combs in the bathroom where he would shower naked behind a glass screen. Jones said that Diddy would boast of having shot people and would threaten to do bodily harm on him if he did not comply with his demands. Now, we all know Diddy's name has been called up when it comes to things like Tupac shooting, Biggie shooting. His name seems to always be coming up when it comes to shootings. And the police are not doing a very good job right now investigating him. His name is not being called up, in my opinion, for nothing. When allegations continuously come up about you, and we're not talking about his, even his sexual allegations right now, which there is many of. I'm talking about the fact that he is consistently... His name is consistently brought up in serious shooting cases. I don't see why investigations extreme investigations are not going on with diddy there are many allegations that he has some connections in the police force but apparently some of his connections have retired and they have died over the years so right now why is the police not taking any action on diddy these accusations of him being involved in gun crime are extremely serious in 1999 diddy was you know diddy was in court on gun possession and bribery charges but he was let off but jones claims that diddy actually admitted that he did it now i was about to make some jokes and say diddy did it and i was like come on not be silly let's not be silly about this this is a serious serious case so he said he done it to jones allegedly do i believe he did it I'm sure you all have an opinion on that and i'm sure we all come to the same conclusion when it comes to diddy and all these gun charges he's had diddy would consistently tell Jones that he has immense power in the music industry and within law enforcement, which is what I was talking about a minute ago. Apparently, he had some connects, and that's why he was getting away with so many things. Jones also says that underage girls and sex workers were guests at his house and his parties, and he was drugging their drinks. Now, we've heard about these allegations of him drugging girls' drinks before, even with the whole Cassie thing. This is a constant thing that comes up with Diddy and drugging the drinks. More than one person has said they have seen him do this so these allegations are really serious as well once again another person saying that they were forced to go around and recruit sex workers for him he also says he was drugged in february last year he woke up just dizzy naked and confused in combs bed with two sex workers next to him the fact that he woke up and he was naked in the bed with him and these sex workers and he was drugged to me the charges that diddy's getting are not quite right i feel like he should also be being charged with actual rape that is rape if you go somewhere you're drugged you're in the bed naked you've been you know attacked sexually assaulted this is an actual rape Jones had a GoFundMe because he wanted to, you know, get the money to sue the rapper for unpaid royalties. So can you imagine you're you're being sexually assaulted by this guy, forced to recruit sex workers. You're going through the most. He's, you know, scaring you, telling you he's got connects all over the place, making you watch disgusting, you know, videos. He's doing all this to you. And then this man is not even paying you neither. It's like there's nothing Diddy ever does to me that is decent not one thing this lawsuit it names justin diddy's son christina karam who is the chief of staff and universal music group ceo so lucian grange as defendant it accuses karam of grooming him on cohen's behalf and claims that motown records love records and universal music group a Rico comprised of a Rico enterprise, they failed to adequately monitor, warn or supervise Combs and his inner circle. 
Of course, you know, the attorneys are saying the same thing. They're saying he just wants a free pay day. We always hear this, and this is the problem with these celebs. They think, you know, the answer is to always say people just want money and they can get away with everything. So this is why I don't even think money should be involved in these cases. It should just be straight. If you've done the crime, you just go to jail. Let's stop giving them the excuse to say you're just trying to get a payday because the lawsuit's for 30 billion now obviously he knows he's not going to get 30 billion but when money is involved it's very easy to discredit people who have less money than you and I would say no money should be involved in these cases it should just be a case of if you lose the case you just go to jail straight out and obviously you should pay the person's legal expenses if you lose the case but it should be nothing to do with money because the problem is that when money is being paid out it's a very very easy to discredit people and if you're a victim let's say you're a victim and you think okay I'm just going to take the money. I might as well take the money. That's, you know, it's already happened to me. These criminals, let's just call them what they are, these sexual criminals continue to get victims because they're out on the road free. Prison should absolutely be the only option for them. No way should you be rich just going around touching up, vaping, groping, doing anything you want and thinking you can just throw your money at that. that throw your money at that and you can discredit people. You can make little deals. You can go to somebody who's got less money than you and offer to pay. No, I never even thought Cassie should have got a payout. I felt like Diddy should have gone to jail. Taking payment just leads to other people becoming victims of these people. They are a danger to society. Earlier this week, Diddy already had to deny gang raping a 17-year-old girl. The 17-year-old girl was seen in his Manhattan recording studios and she's sitting on his lap. And to me, it's pretty clear, you know, that Diddy has intentions for her. But this guy claims the picture isn't accurate. I would love to know how a photo of a girl sitting on your lap is not accurate. But, you know, we'll leave that one for now. Actually, we won't leave that one. Let's get into it. So, this girl, she's only 17 years old. She is also filing in the New York court, the same court as Jones. So, Diddy's got another friend. And as I said, you know, bad people, bad company. If you're friends with Diddy, you've got to be questioned. So, his friend, Harvey Perrier, and a man that we do not know his name, there's a third man who's involved in this. They flew this young girl, only 17 years old, allegedly, to a New York studio they gave her large amounts of alcohol and drugs. This is in 2003. And this poor girl was allegedly gang raped. Okay, so let's talk about Stevie J being in these sex videos. An adult film star who is called D'Angelo Knockout Mara Quez. He claims that he is the guy in the video engaging in the sex acts with another man. And it is not Stevie J. He felt like he better speak out quick because he felt like Stevie J was, you know, taking credit for his work. So, he's in the images, according to him. He's a big-time adult entertainment star. Do I know about him from watching him? Absolutely not. I do not watch this. But I found out he is. He's on OnlyFans. He's got, like, 100,000 followers on Instagram. And apparently, he's an award-winning entertainer. So, this guy has jumped to Stevie J's defence. He claims it's not Stevie J. He says, they will not bring him down of my name. Try it again. And this is not him, Stevie J. It's me, you'll really be trying it. Now, I've seen the images. One of them looks like Stevie J. Some of them do not look like Stevie J and actually do look like this guy. But Diddy knew, apparently, that Jones was idolising Stevie J. You know, he was a big fan of his. He looked up to him. And Diddy used the video as a way to solicit him. He shared the video with him to just, you know, try and take away his anxiety about being homosexual. And he said, look, Stevie J's even doing it. Everyone in the music industry is doing it. Stevie J has said the lawsuit is bogus and put out three laughing clown emojis. Stevie J has been, you know, friends with Diddy for years. So does he think the lawsuit's funny? I don't think it's nothing funny about it. Yes, it may not be him in the videos, but it's definitely not funny. To keep company like Diddy, he should absolutely be ashamed. No person should be able to say, you know, Diddy is my friend. Why would you keep a friend like that? There's been so many allegations of Diddy being involved in Biggie's death it's like i know when you have that friend but they're not really your friend your frenemy and stevie was married to faith and i feel like faith knowing that stevie is friends with diddy 
as you probably heard these allegations about what has happened to you know what had happened to Biggie who is the father of her child you would think she wouldn't even want to be married or dating Stevie J and she can't say she doesn't know because Biggie's mum does not like Diddy at all Biggie's mum knows what's up with Diddy she knows that friendship was not what people thought this is Jones talking about Diddy not actually paying him for his work to anyone this video may be embarrassing too um let's just jump right into it some of you may know me or may not i'm a music producer who's a writer and musician um different genres i started in the gospel and jazz and and r&b and worked my way over to the hip-hop side i've been working on an album um i took a year off straight working on this album that album is the love album off the grid by diddy um and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. Taking this album on has required so much time, um, you know, months and at, at a time, 16 hours to 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes, you know, Diddy will request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done and and the truth is we'll be up for days trying to accomplish that. I've tried to get my business straight with them on this album, but the truth is they're not playing fair. They they hit me on below the belt on so many situations just 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 dealing with this it's the contract that they give me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting the the the, the producer fee pennies and on top of that these guys are trying to steal my publishing i can't go for that so i'm fighting back he's a fighter um but i'm 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 gonna put in this fight i gotta do it for myself my rights and most importantly my kids taking my publishing or stealing it is it's just it's, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not going to let that happen. Again, this is one of those projects that, that took so much time from me. I miss holidays uh, with my family just out working on this album. At what point I was running around with the, the hard drives, the computer, just to run the ball on this album, to finish the production on it, and make sure that this album came to you know, a good project with good vibes, you know, just where it is right now. Um, and just to be offered little to no participation in this is highly disrespectful. I won't be that guy 20, 30 years from now looking back saying, I wish I'd done this. I'm going to do this now. Um, doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. I don't have the 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 monies that it's going to take to fight him anyway, in guys, court. So I'm just asking, you, you know, if you if you in support, in. please. please the link is in my bio.